Hi, I'm Martin Tyler, Alan Smith is with me, and we're at the Stadium of Light, the home of Sunderland. The game today features Sunderland, who play Swansea City. Well, breaking through as Alex Hunter has done this season, that takes a bit of doing, but playing regularly is uh, exceptional. 24th appearance today, he's only five away from equaling the tally of his, his granddad, the great Jim Hunter, set all those years ago. No, he's done well, I mean, he did go out on loan to the Championship, but his manager's given him plenty of opportunities and he's not wasted them. When they fill it, and the Sunderland fans can do that, the Stadium of Light is as good as anywhere in the Premier League to watch football. They can really bounce around with the noise here. Yeah, they do love the football up here. They've, they've had to suffer at times as their team have struggled, but it is a wonderful stadium. Good friend is today's referee. This is the Sunderland team for you today responsibility for some of those five in midfield to get forward and uh, I'm sure the, the main striker won't be isolated although it looks a bit like that on our screens yeah he could be a lonely man up top there if he doesn't get the support that uh, he needs because this with the chance to go into the lead now well, that's gone behind it'll be a corner He could cross it now. Played into the middle. And it's the goalkeeper's ball, quite clearly. A wasted cross. Well, I know I'm looking forward to having a look at these two, Alan. Obviously, it's a team game, but they're intriguing individuals, aren't they? They are, and uh, they don't just play for themselves, which is the satisfying thing. They lift the head if there's a ball to be played, rather than shooting themselves. They will play that ball. In quickly. Nathan Dyer onto the attack now. So we'll restart with a throw in. They're on the move now. Bernard. It's Alex Hunter. He's had to tackle there to concede the corner. much on his game today it's gone out for a throw Tabanu this is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening strong challenge Raquel it's a great moment they've scored here and they're into the lead a dramatic moment it's a defender who has breached their defence. I think they were almost taking him for granted. They didn't think he was one of the chief threats, but he was. So the first goal, it's 1-0. Swansea City goal, number 22, and Bell Rambo. Jan Kirchhoff. That passing is top class. And the referee points for a goal kick. Jack Cork. Wayne Routledge.
into the attacking third. Came in with the challenge and the ball broke free. Here's Defoe. And Jones. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Tackle here. Routledge. Now Kane. Here's Hunter. And he gives it back to him. Bernard. Good through pass. He got there just in time. In the end, a fantastic clearance. Jack Cork. Bernard. Trotto! It's a fine strike, but not quite what he was hoping for. But when he's hit it, I'm sure he would have thought that was going to bulge in the back of the net. Not quite, though. Bernard. Kane. Here's Hunter. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Looking for an opening. And they're stopped in their tracks by a raised flag from the assistant. Well, I thought, you know, he timed his run perfectly there, but no, they kept a good straight line and they caught him. Billy Jones. Jermaine Defoe. Well, the referee has signaled for half-time, and it's 1-0 here. I think that's a good performance, isn't it, Alan, from him in the first half? Well, he played really well, didn't he? And he got himself a goal to put his team ahead. He'll be pleased with that first 45 minutes. Time now for the second half to start. Great interception. It goes out wide again. Probing away. Trying to find room for a shot, maybe. Farini! He's blocked the shot well. Here's Harry Kane. Nice bit of interplay between these two. Here's Hunter. Bernard. There was good progress with this attack. Hunter. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. They've got a great understanding, this team. Just look at the passing. That could open them up. Then in the shot, go! Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. To be replaced by number four, Kinson Moore. Well, they move forward again with Alex Hunter. Rangel. And here's the shot. The shot gets blocked. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Trying to thread it through here. The shot's on. Rangel! And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. He took it with great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. Well, here's the goal again.
restarting at 2-0. Swansea City goal, number 22, and they Now Paddy McNair. One shot, one on target for Sunderland. Yeah, there's been nothing wrong with the finishing. Kept this goalkeeper extremely busy here. Oh, he's good at cutting those passes out in that middle of the park. Looking down at the Swansea bench, there's going to be a, a substitute brought on. Well, they've wasted that crossing position, haven't they? Easily cleared. Here's Hunter. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. Shot on! A oh, great work by the keeper. Sunderland wondering whether they can go on and score from here. Sunderland really struggling to get back into the game. It looks like the opposition is in for an aerial bombardment here. Judging by the way, the centre-halves are going forward. Now he's looking for support. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they've still got the ball. That attack was looking good. Now the opposition have a chance. Patrick van Arnhoek. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. Sharp piece of attacking play from Sunderland. Good defending. He might be through. He points to the spot. Penalty. Well, it's a penalty, and the referees added to their problems. Yeah, lost the composure, haven't they? It's been a poor day, and it's only going to get worse here. Substitution for Swansea City. Pitch. It's been a free-flowing performance from a, a forward who, if you give him any space, and he's had the space today, he's going to punish you as a defender, and he's dominated the defenders who've tried to stop him today. Yeah, we know he's got plenty of skill, but you've got to ally that with work rate, right? and he's done that today. Doesn't always do it, to be fair, but he has here. Well, he's one of the lads who really wants to take on this responsibility and it showed yeah I think some people are cut out for it some aren't and this lad certainly is given them a comfortable situation here. 3-0 as the game gets underway. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. And the time to be added on here is a minimum of three minutes. Attacking now. That looked very good indeed, but the move has broken down. He's going to try it! They score! Well, how long's he been on? One or two minutes, I'm not sure, but he's marked his appearance here with a wonderful goal. Pretty straightforward, this match, and the late goal sums it up, really. Yeah, they've just compounded their superiority with that one. So, they're looking for more at 4-0. City goal, number nine, well, the referee decides that time is up, and the game has been up for some time, in truth. The final score, 4-0. Well, it turned out to be a different kind of game to the one perhaps we set up for you at the beginning. 
very one-sided. Yeah, you end up feeling a bit disappointed as a neutral because we didn't really get a contest, but the winning team won't be disappointed at all. Played well. Looks like you're getting on your game out there, Hunter. I like what I'm seeing. I feel good. Really good. Well, it shows on the pitch. Keep it up, yeah? Yeah. Right now, I'm just focused on improving my game every week. Good attitude, Hunter. Keep that mindset and you'll go far. That's all I want. All right, let's get to work. We're looking to wear our opponents down to generate better chances in the dying minutes. It helps when you need a late goal. So that means crisp, clean...
Smith is with me. I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. And the match for you today, Swansea City against West Bromwich Albion. When Swansea City were playing at the old Vetch field, and they're in the fourth tier of English football, you just couldn't have imagined that they'd have a home like this at the Liberty Stadium and they'd have a team like this. That's incredible, isn't it? We don't ever really talk about Swansea as potential relegation candidates. You look at the stadium, it's, it's all set up for top-class football, and they've had some good footballers in here. This is Swansea City's team for you today. The kind of players that we expect, the kind of performances we expect from the individuals trying to make this formation work. Yeah, I mean, it can at first glance look... Well, it's a pretty robust start to the game. It's certainly a foul, but the referee's kept his cards in his pocket. Hunter. Here's Taylor. Jack Cork. Hunter trying to find a way through. Gets his foot in there. Typified the competitive nature of this game, that tackle. It's only a throw-in. Nicely played through ball. Shots on here. Well, his name is shortened to the point. And so is his style of play. Kane scores. And the way he's hit this one, he's flew off his boot to beat the keeper. And here's the goal again. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. And in he goes with the tackle. Into the attacking third. Bernard. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Good pass, getting it forward. And it will go into the middle now. And that will be a goal kick. I'm just worried about the rain only in that it's uh, impairing a bit our visibility of the proceedings out there on the pitch. Yeah, we're nice and dry up here, but uh, unlike the players, uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. Jack Cork. Hunter. Routledge. Very good passing from this team. Oh, it's promising the build-up then. But the pass finally cut out after they kept the ball quite nicely. Trying to widen the approach play here, but it's out for a throw-in. Here's Harry Kane. Well, he makes that transition happen quickly. Good challenge. Alex Hunter good position they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now shots on great work by the goalkeeper the ball is his and he's made sure he's protected it now Kane Good challenge here. And the ball with West Bromwich Albion again. Here's Phillips.
Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Good defending. Nathan Dyer. Jack Cork. Kane. Rangel. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. The fourth official has indicated there will Kane. be a minimum of two minutes. Of it's Alex Hunter. He's going to try it. Terrific stop. Referee has pointed for a corner. And now he's going to sort out that earlier incident and book the player who committed the foul. Yeah, he doesn't miss much, this ref. He's, he's eagle-eyed and uh, he wanted to give the team a chance to move forward, but always oh, going to produce the yellow for that. That'll be another corner coming up. And that will clear the danger. Quick header, found a teammate. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Raquel! Good work by the goalkeeper. Well, the referee is signal. Well, they're still trailing and they need to do something now if they want to get back into this game. Maybe some fresh legs will do the trick. Well, the rain has continued through half-time and it is relentless. This pitch can only take so much more water. He's coming forward with some danger. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Trying to thread it through here. Hunter! Well, it's uh, a long way off target. Jack Cork. Here's Taylor. For Swansea City, a change coming up. Got the tackle in. Now Kane. On the attack here. Cross coming in now. Here's Harry Kane, Routledge, very good passes, this team are passing the ball beautifully, they cope with it well defensively, and that'll be a throw, Harry Kane, is the player to be substituted, Alan? He's played really well. He's a thorn in the side of those opposing defenders and took his goal really well. Bernard. Could be dangerous. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. Well, they've been uh, thwarted here. That's a sign of better things to come. Rangel, Nathan Dyer, Hunter, some options now for the pass. This might be it! Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. Now that will be a corner. Twenty minutes now, remaining. Number three, Dylan Solson, coming onto the pitch, 
Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. And here's the shot. He got in the way. Well, no shots at all so far for West Bromwich Albion. Well, a shot would be nice, wouldn't it, Martin? Even if he's blasted over the bar. There's the ball in. Defender to it first. He had to clear it even at the expense of a corner. And he banked it away. It's a promising attack, this, with Hunter on the ball. Nicely played through ball. Well, here comes the support. Tries the through pass. And it's going to be his throw here. Well, they've got to go for it in these circumstances, haven't they? They're trailing, so uh, an extra potential goal scorer brought on. Well, I think he had to do it, didn't he? He's not going to go down with a whimper. This manager wants to go down with a fight, and this is the right way to go about it. That's very good link-up play. Good place to win the ball back there, because the pressure was starting to mount, and the interception was timely, to say the least. Crosses it. And it's gone out for a throw. And a sharp restart. I think there's a, a split in the fans. They're all roaring, Alan, but some of them probably roaring to defend this 1 0 lead, and some roaring for the attackers to add to it. Yeah, I think one or two roaring for the final whistle, too, but. We've got a little bit of time before that happens. The referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Well, There's good progress with this attack. Fernando Llorente. And now the shot! Oh, saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. This is a chance for an extra goal from this corner in the final minutes of the game. Well, they just can't get the ball away. It's another corner. Shots on here. It's such a close... Final whistle's gone. And it's a 1-0 win. Close game. Man of the match today, tell me, were you expecting the award after your performance? I was just concentrating on the match, to be honest, and what I could have done better. You're never perfect out there, and there's always something else you could have done to help out the lads, and that's what was on my mind. With well, that said, it does feel pretty good, though. <laughs> a nice pass from you, and it leads to a goal. What are your thoughts on the assist? The manager's always banging on about being unselfish, and I think you can see that all over the pitch. Passes like that, well, they're just the product of a strong team approach. So you're on a run of good form right now, Alex. What's the key to your success? Playing my game. I got here on the back of my own style, and I'm not going to change that now. As long as I keep playing football the way I know I can, I'm sure I can keep this going. And that'll do, I think. Thanks, Alex. Anytime.
You know, there's a lot of players go their whole career without even getting close to winning the league. You ought to be proud of what you've done. Why don't I make us a cup of tea? You know, it's often the disappointments in life that teach us the most. There he is, my top man. Only 17 and came this close to winning his first title. Yeah, but we lost. All right, tell me this then, Einstein. How many teenagers do you know who nearly won the Premier League on their first attempt, huh? I've never really thought about it like that. And there's always next year, son. Smart woman, your mother. You should listen to her. Cup of tea, Michael. Ooh, coffee. You're on your way, Alex. Next stop, the FA Cup final. Onwards and upwards, am I right, Jim? Right. Right. Another day, another practice. Let's get on with it. Hear that? That's the real magic of the FA Cup. That's what today's all about. Passion, blood and thunder. Today, you have a chance to become more than just a player. Today, you have a chance to become FA Cup winners. Stick together. Believe in yourselves and you will be victorious. Win, and you will become legends! Go
can't wait to see the look on your face when I lift that cup. In your dreams, mate. You know, I ain't got a prayer out there. I am gonna destroy you. <laughs> that right. I wanna know why you sang around with you? I'm not interested. Because your granddad had connections in the game. End of. You were nothing to me. Not even half the player I am. Just like your dad. Nothing. In the pitch, Alex. You'll have your chance. See you out there. Come on, boys. Let's get out of here. Come on. It's always ringed in red, the date for the final of this competition, the final of the Emirates FA Cup, watched all around the world. And it's our privilege to watch it too, Alan, isn't it? It is, and always sends a shiver down the spine. It really does. It's the most famous cup competition in the world. And really looking forward to it. And the match for you today, Swansea City against Stoke City. So FA Cup final day has finally arrived and what a prospect this match is going to bring us. A lot of hype, a lot of build-up, that's always been the case for the FA Cup Thank final. You. But there's been particular focus, Alan, on the young stars of these teams and the personal rivalry between Alex Hunter and Gareth Walker. Yep, Martin, well at one stage they were the best of mates, weren't they? Grew up together in Clapham and came through the academy system together, but, well, from what we hear, and Reed no longer best pals. It's a shame, but uh, they're in a showpiece final here, and I'm sure both eager to impress. Well, that's gone back there to the young goalkeeper, Jack Butland. Jack Cork. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. Not a great cross at all in the circumstances. And pretty easy to cope with by the defending team. Peter Crouch. Just lent the ball to his mate and got it back again. Jeff Cameron. Good reading of the by anticipating the pass. Stoke City go and win it back again. Bardsley. Apollo. Stoke City have got great character in their play. They're going to need all of it, you feel, in this match. Whelan. Attacking well here. That's great defending there, stopping that attack. Tabanu. Routledge. Hunter. Now Hunter. It's looking good, this move. A lot of defenders between them and the goal, but they still got the ball. Hunter! That's great hands from the goalkeeper to make that kind of save. Hunter. Now cut out by the defender. Jack Cork. Well, they're building steadily. The shot's on! Oh, well done, the goalkeeper. And he's hung on to the ball. Apollo. He's coming forward with some danger. 
half alive. He can lay it off to the supporting player. Well, it will be a throw in. Afala. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. A disappointing cross this time, I think. Kane. Trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Well, a wonderful year for young Alex Hunter, whose dad was a pro Harold, his granddad, of course, Jim Hunter, who never won the FA Cup, won plenty of other things. Uh, for Alex, he started well in the league in his first season, obviously, at this level. They're in the Champions Cup now for next season, so that's obviously one bridge crossed, and now the opportunity to be part of an FA Cup winning team. Yeah, and you have to remember how young this lad is, still a teenager, so he's shown an awful lot of maturity this season in playing a key part in qualifying for the Champions Cup and now another great chance to show us exactly what he can do and in he goes with the tackle and up goes the board there'll be two added minutes two minutes added time Whelan it's been a fantastic first half Well, they've had the first half to get the occasion really uh, out of their system and concentrate on the football match. So we're into the second half now of the Emirates FA Cup final. Yeah, it was cagey a little bit at times in that first half, but as you say, Martin, they've got a feel of the occasion and looking forward to the next 45 minutes. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. Shot. That's another page in the history of this wonderful competition. It's the opening goal of this FA Cup final. Well, didn't he take it well? That was superbly finished. Look at the fans as well. They think that might be the winner. Well, that was the opening goal. We've had to wait for the second half to get it, but it's come now. Goal for Swansea City, number 10. Jeff Cameron. Affalai. For one of the sides, he's going to make a change. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Routledge. In possession now, the ball again for Stoke City. Glenn Whelan. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Saw the goal and went for it. He's kept it out. Shots on here. That was the opening that they've been working so hard to get to get back on level terms. And you're right, Martin, they have worked extremely hard. They just let down at the, at the death there. What a miss. Nathan Dyer. Hunter trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Played into the middle. Defender to it first. So that means it's a corner now. We're watching a very evenly contested game here. Neither side being able. It's Alex Hunter! Well, it's a comfortable save for the keeper from the header. Well, it's not the most powerful header you'll see this season or even in this match. Didn't time it. Subs getting ready. And Johnson. 
It's looking bleaker and bleaker for Stoke City. Well, the manager on the sidelines has made his intentions clear. He's waving quite a few defenders forward. He's just going to get that ball into the box, whichever way is possible. There's some potential in this move. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Well, we're in the last knockings of the game, but we're still on the edge of our seats here. It's that close. Ten minutes left of regular time. Well, they're in a good position here. Wonderful chance! Goal, Hunter! One team is very happy here, and one team is very frustrated. And yet, you wouldn't have expected that kind of gap between these two. They deservedly lead. Well, they've knocked the ball about well, Martin, and uh, knocked it about with confidence. And as you say, they're two evenly matched sides, so that's been a big achievement for them. Restarting at 2-0. And it's Walker. On to the attack now. Bardsley. Made the challenge well. Well, this is how this team can play. Sustained attacking football, but when they lose it, as they've done now, it's just a risk that they might get caught out. Okay. Referee's had a good look and decided what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Here's a chance to counter-attack from that wasted cross by the opposition. Sherdan Shakiri. Good defending. So a reasonably comfortable margin of victory. The final whistle has gone, the game is finished, and the final score is 2-0. That's confirmed their place on the Roll of Honour in such a marvellous competition, a global competition, a historic competition. They are now on the list of winners of the Emirates FA Cup. Yeah, it's a day these boys will never forget for as long as they live. It's a marvellous feeling down there. And they've got to just suck it all in. famous domestic club competition in the world the oldest still widely celebrated and to go up to collect the FA Cup Alan you've done it now it's a magnificent feeling and these players I think defensively they owe those defenders a, a big pat on the back because their success has been based on that the FA Cup winners as they have been through the season. Yeah, you do get the feeling with these boys, they are a proper unit. There's really good team spirit within that dressing room, which you need at any successful club. These have certainly been that. Yeah.
Not bad for a prima donna. Ah, you see. <laughs> <laughs> You did yourselves proud. This club, those fans, you did us all proud today. Whatever else has happened this season, I want you to remember this moment. Because this belongs to us! Yeah! Yeah! Seems it brought us luck after all. Here. If anyone deserves this today, it's you, lad. Well, what are you waiting for? Yeah!